Hello and welcome back to the Ember Island Collector. Today we're kicking it back old school and we're going to be opening up a sealed version of Upper Deck Entertainment's Quick Strike Avatar The Last Airbender trading cards. Now I've been on kind of a crusade to say about collecting old Avatar merch just to showcase the showcase it here on this web on this channel, but also for the fact that I kind of also want to collect old Avatar merch, and you'll hopefully be seeing it more on this channel. Let me know down in the comments below if you enjoy this kind of content. This will be my first time doing it, but today this sealed Avatar trading card set will be our first go around about it. Now this originally released in 2006. So that's about two years after the first pilot came out. So a quick summary of what happened and how these cards came to be, you can also check this out for a longer summary of the Avatar Wiki, is that originally the pilot came out and then Upper Deck Entertainment was interested in doing these trading card sets. So they were capitalizing on the fact that brands like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon had their own trading card sets and they essentially sold very well. And so they wanted to capitalize on this whole industry of doing trading cards and Avatar was like, yeah, let's do it. And so they were given a lot of information from the first, like a pi the pilot and the first couple episodes, and they kind of built a trading card deck series out of that. Now, if you've watched the series, you kind of know that the first couple of episodes in the pilot aren't really much to build a whole series of trading cards. Um, there's not too many characters at this point. We didn't even get introduced to Toph at that point. And so it seems kind of difficult to start a whole trading card series, but that's what they did. And today... We're opening it ourselves to see exactly what's included, but let's first observe and look at the box. So, if you see it here, it says, after Last Airbender, we have, it says here, Unleash the Power of the Chamber card. I don't know what Chamber card is. Like, I've done some research on these, and I'm still kind of confused about exactly what they do. I'm more of a has to play in order to understand it kind of person. Um, it says Master of Elements here. You have the Upper Deck Entertainment logo here. And it says two-player starter set. Includes 60 characters and two chamber cards. And so if we check the back of this, we have... Let's see if you can read it. Avatar Last Air Airbender, Master of Elements. Master all of the awesome powers of water, earth, fire, and air. A hundred years ago, a 12-year-old boy named Aang was told that he was the, he was the Avatar, a master of of the art of bending or physically manipulating the four elements, Aang's amazing abilities were destined to bring peace and stability to his world. But when his people needed him the most, he vanished. Now young Aang has returned and is struggling to bring balance to a war-torn world. Join Aang in his fight as you play the amazing lightning fast collectible card game. And so we see here, it says, if you can look a little closer, it says special foil Zemental cards. Unleash the full power of each bender. So we got Zuko, we got Katara, and we got Boomy. And so far, the art isn't like the, I'm not going to say it's the worst, but I don't think it's kind of in line with what the characters look like in the TV show. It's kind of weird though. Um, we'll have to judge when we actually see the cards. It says keep the action intense as you quickly utilize most of the cards in your deck in every game. So we have Aang here, and this is obviously like a promotional, like they didn't draw him, like it came from like promotional material. And then again, we have the Unleash the Power of the Chamber card. And then it says here, the Avatar TCG is part of the Quick Strike TCG system and compat compatible with other Quick Strike card games. Explore a cast of new benders before they appear on the hit TV show. Chamber card technology revolutionizes trading card and gaming as you strategically assign one when you, you, when to slide open your card and reveal your bender's hidden moves. And now we can see here, this starter set includes tw two random 30 card playing decks mixed and matched to make the ultimate tournament deck, two random chamber cards, one comprehensive rule books, and two play mats featuring quick start guides. And this is also the U deck case, plastic carrying case. And you can see there was a website. I haven't typed it in to see if it actually still works. And you see on here it says on the bottom it says each deck contains 62 cards. And then you have the copyright, which of the rights reserves. You have it for Upper Deck Entertainment, for Viacom, and all the general nonsense that you get. And it also says warning, zero three are not allowed to use this item. Which makes a lot of sense. And over here, you get like a nice little picture. So we have Aang, we have Katara, we got Zuko, we got Iroh, we got Boomy. Um, we got this character. 
and this one that do not make an appearance in the series. And I think you have to really recognize the fact that they were making this, um, they are making it alongside the production of the TV show. And so unless the production of the TV show told them that these characters were coming out, they kind of had to make their own ideas about what kind of characters would be upcoming. And so a lot of times they just didn't really line up because the upper deck entertainment was kind of like oh do you like these pictures um do you like the characters that we've drawn and they were like yeah they'll be good but you have to remember a lot of things do change when creating a tv show and so obviously these characters may have not actually been in the show maybe they were um but i they certainly weren't anyone i remember but then we have Zhao. um i think this is supposed to be gyatso but i don't know and this doesn't look like Sokka, but we could pretend it might be another character so We'll see, it's a nice plastic carrying case. On the side, it says Quick Strike Trading Card Game System. We got the Upper Deck Entertainment logo here. And the picture in the front, we didn't really talk about that. It's, it's Aang, which is funny because Aang is very much like this is how he looks in a TV show. And then you have Katara, who kind of, he just, she, is, she looks really off. But it's probably because of the drawing style, it's a little bit different. And then we have Zuko, who pretty much kind of looks like what he looks like in the TV show. So, I'm excited because I haven't opened this yet. You see the plastic is still on there and we are going to break the seal. So let's get to it. Uh, do I really need this? Uh, okay, let's break it open. We're going to manipulate it here. Okay. Da -da -da -da! Okay, so you have to remember, this has not been opened before. So this has been sealed since 2006. We're going to take that and put it off to the side. <gasps> oh my god. It smells like 2006. <laughs> it's like bringing back very computer room vibes. If you were into, like, if you were a child back then, you would feel like the vibes. Okay, so let's open this. Okay. Ooh, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow, I really got that. <laughs> it really reminds you of, like a CD player when you open, like when you open like a CD um, holder and you smell it. So that's what I'm getting for from it. Like, that's obviously what we're talking about. So we have the trading card game. This is the rule book, the official rule book on this side, which just has the same art in the beginning. And then we have the cards over here. So let's pop that out. We're open it now. Let's open it. Da -da -da -da! Oh my goodness, the cards are sealed too. Oh, we're like, we can see that we got Katara, and I think I don't know what the change of the deck cards are, but we are gonna go through it. And then there's King Boomy. Okay, so let's go through all of these cards. Then, according to the Avatar Wiki, there were 200, they are claims that there were 208 cards from the illustrators from the studio that created these, these cards. Um, well, other sources kind of say that there were only 235, but those don't include... So there was 235 original cards, and then there were cards that were given out in either Burger King toys, because Burger King had hold of the license to make a set of, like, Happy Meal toys, which aren't Happy Meals because they're Burger King, so Burger King kids' toys. And then, apparently, there also were some cards that came out in the Avatar The Last Airbender DVDs in the first season. So if you got any of the DVDs in the first season, sometimes it would come with a card. And then they also gave out cards and certain um, Avatar toys, so certain ones from Mattel, because then they partnership with that. Let's open these cards. I'm going to switch the angle so we can see better. Okay, now let's open these. Now that we got a new angle, let's open these cards. Okay. Okay. Now I believe this is the chamber card. Um, it's made out of, like, it's a thicker card stock, because these are cards, but we got King Boomy here, and that's nice. And we got him again with his pet, but we have him in the arena where he's fighting Aang, and then we have him with his pet that I don't remember right now. Please hold all judgment. So we have King Boomy here. We're just gonna keep going. Okay. So now we can look at all these cards, and we're going to hope that we get this. So this is a Rock the House card. I'm not going to read all of them, because I feel like we'll figure them out eventually. 
It also tells you who illustrated these cards too, which is quite interesting. So if we look here, so if we Barry Studios illustrate these cards. And now, so that's what they did all the art for the cards. They did like the packaging. So the back just says Quick Strike. Um, pretty simple, pretty nice looking. And you can see here we have Boomy, and he's just moving a house with his hands. And so let's go through the rest of the cards. There's also like this logo on the top that has a symbol of an ox, which is an ox or a bison, whatever you want to call it, which is quite nice because, you know, today is the first day of Lunar New Year's. So that's great. And we have the Avatar logo. There's also a quote here. This one says, what do you mean? We're safer in here. Muki, Fire Nation soldier. And they obviously were not. And there's also a number here that says the six. So I don't really know what that is. There's over here, there's a three with a lightning bolt. Also, maybe I should have the rules first, but we're going to go through the cards first and then we'll read the rules. So we got that. We got the ever elusive Get. Very nice. I'm gonna flip them over. And like the same thing again, like you get like this, you get a logo here that's like a star with the moon crest. We got Jet. He doesn't really look like his self that's in the TV series, but he still looks pretty okay. But this one's in purple, so that's nice. And there's also numbers I've noticed. Like this one has one and one. It's like green, yellow, and red. Oh yeah, because there's supposed to be like a, a card. Matt. Anyway, let's continue. We got Will of a Warrior. We got Sokka here. Very nice. I like this one. Sokka hates trouble. He'll brave anything to help his friends. Also, feel free to pause the video anytime if you want to get a closer look at these cards. Okay, Die for Cover. And we got Boomy here going into the ground, earthbending the ground while Fire Soldier shoots air at him. Tremor Trail. So we got an earthbender. I think that's Haru making a crack in the earth. We have Boomy again. I feel like Boomy was very much capitalized in this because he seems to be in a lot of these cards. It says Quicksand. And we still got also... Some of these cards actually have logos, some of them don't have logos. That's an nice, interesting thing about it. This one says Reflip Green. Okay. Earth Bridge. So this is again another one of Haru. When you counter act, you may move one of your opponent's allies to one of the empty player's empty ally spaces. Lightsaber, that's nice. That's cute. Also, these cards, I don't know, like, they, the art's cute. Like, I like it, but it's very more anime. Like, I feel like you get kind of more anime looks to the cards rather than what the TV show was. Um, so the art style is, like, way different. The Katara is also, like, very pale in this. It's not just the lighting. She is just very pale. Then we got Zuko here with his twin fire daggers. And each of these cards tell you like something that these cards can do, which is cool. It's very similar to what Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon have, I believe. And then we have the Fire Nation symbol here. Ooh, this is cute. Just desserts when Aang and Gyatso are throwing the, the the fruit pies. Very cute. This one has a lion in the corner. Training scroll. I love that episode. Love seeing Aang figure out in two seconds of guitar to having a very, very difficult time with it because that's kind of how I feel when I learn things and I feel a lot like guitar half the time. But this one also has a little lightning bolt in the corner. Huh. This one's another Zuko. He's got a burning disc, which I don't think we really see him throw a whole disc of fire in the show. Oh my goodness, it's the Great Divine. It's the children. Of Wei Jing, Wei Jing, the Zhang tribe. Oh, jeez, Louise. That was a great episode, wasn't it? Swirling flames. So this is very nice. Close ham form. And you can see all these cards are like different colors, too. They're brown, they're blue. Knuckle sandwich. Yes, Sokka. This one also doesn't have any words. It's just a strike card, apparently. Uh, Snowball smash. So we have Katara. Throwing a snowball at a Fire Nation soldier. Uh, Momo, Hungry Lemur. Oh, he's cute. This one's cute. I like this one. Fetch. When you counter Eki may eliminate a green energy. I seem to have lost my pet Flopsy. Bring him to me. And there's Aang running from Flopsy. Oh my goodness. Take them away. So these are pulling a lot from the first couple of episodes of the TV show. We got Frost Daggers from 
a male water water bender ward off okay so this person is definitely not a character from the show they look like an airbender that's not Aang, even though he's the last airbender so i enjoy that it was here i think this says if this might be a, a character some say that malu's spirit still protects the forest she loved interesting so th- this might have been a character that might have been development that just got cut out of the tv show we'll never know there's another icon here interesting we got evade with Sokka. that's very nice he's throwing his boomerang fire nation soldiers pirate captain very interesting the artwork is very interesting double crest so this is when katara and, and ang are fighting the now fighting but giving water bending the fire nation ship we got like they're cool cuts i just kind of want to know what they all do um we got boomy again double foot drop kick Winds on the waves with Aang running away from the Unagi, I believe. Oh, constantly we got Monkey Atso. That's very nice. Okay. Skewer. And so we have Sokka throwing his spear. Very nice. And then we have Windmill Barrier. Your pawn is defending. Your zones cannot be uncharged. And we have Gyatso. And it says here, don't you know better than to interrupt an old man on his morning walk? And, I don't know, I kind of wish the show actually covered the attack on the Air Nomad's temple when the Fire Nation attacked. It would have been interesting. It would have been an interesting thing to see. So those are those first set of cards. So we'll put these to the side over here and we'll open our next set of cards. Very nice. Shrink-wrapped cards. There we go. Okay, so first thing first, well, I guess we'll look this way. And we have Katara. I love her. I love her so much. She's a little bit pale. And just, that's okay, I guess. I mean, it's not, but you know. We have Katara. I don't know what these cards are. They're thicker, and they obviously, you have to punch this out, which I really kind of don't want to do because it kind of takes, I mean, it doesn't take away from the whole picture, but it's still cute to have all of it. <sighs> But yeah, Katara's here. She looks pretty nice. Got the water, the water bending symbol over there. Got a bunch of symbols over here that I still don't understand what they mean. Very, very nice. Okay. Now let's go through the car. Oh! This one seems fancy. It's got, it's ho- it's a holographic. It's shiny though. Hollow Soul Hurricane. Okay, well, if, anyone can, if anyone's watching this, collects these cards, can let me know if this is a special card. It seems pretty special, but we have an Air Nomad throwing out a gust of wind. Okay, we got Ember Sh- Shot. So we got Uncle Iroh here. We got another Jet card, so that's nice. Got the same card twice. I guess that also happened when you did things. Will of a Warrior, Sokka, Die for Cover, so another set of cards that we already have. So that's fun. I know, like, obviously, like, you're gonna have some cards that double, and, like, it makes more sense for gameplay. Oh, another card. Another card that we have. So a lot of these are repeat cards, which makes sense, I guess. I don't really know if they were supposed to be all, like, the same set of cards. Higher Army, though. This one's different. This one is different. It's funny here. This is a funny line here. Make with the cabbages. The rock's awfully heavy and I hate for something bad to happen. So this is an earthbender that we've never met and probably will have not, never met like in the show. Um, probably a, a character just made for the card game. Which looks cool. Earthbending that rock. Trying to kill Cabbage Man. My cabbages. Got Burning Disc again. Pummel. That's a different one. Sokka. Prison Warden. This is a different one also. He's really did pull from the first couple episodes though. You can tell. Well, Windmill Balance, which I think was the last card in the other deck. Boiling Point. This feels like this is the part where Zuko's trying to learn firebending from Zhang Zhang and he doesn't do it and Zhao comes and he fights him they said. Close Hand Form. We've seen this card again. Oh wow. Canyon Crawler Clash. And this feels like it's actually a picture. Like it's illustrated by 
the studio, but it looks like it's from the actual TV show, like the carrot, like the image. Turning Squirrel saw that one already. Fetch saw that one already. Seize the moment. Okay, very nice. Monkey Atso. That's nice how there's a whole card for him. Cause they're ally. Cause this is an ally card. This is a strike card. Okay, and we have the same little crest one riding the crest. This is an advantage card. This one also shows us what the whose character it is. It says Kinto is a bragger and shows off. Show off. He uses warband to make himself look cool. Wind on the waves. We've seen this one. It's a strike card. Blazing axe kick. Strike card. I don't think we've seen this one before. Contemplate. This is an advantage card. Monkeyazzo. Skewer. We've seen that one before. Strike card. Fiery temper. The advantage card. And snowball smash. This is a strike card. Very, very interesting. So now that we've reviewed all the cards in these decks, first of all, tell me if you collect these cards, um, if any of these cards interest you. It's kind of interesting that we got so many duplicates, like in the second pack, but I guess it's something that can't be helped. I also probably understand like, why people were trading like, them and buying them off the internet. So I got these also off eBay. If you guys, if anyone wants to know, they are sealed. Is pretty. It's not the cheapest. You probably get a better one used. But it's still nice to know. So I guess I can put the cards back for now. I won't. Okay. So now let's go into the rest of it. And I can actually see if you look on the side here. Hold on. I'm gonna switch the camera angle and we'll be right back. Okay. So now we're back. And let's see. Over here, we're gonna pull the rule book. Oh. And the map! Okay, so here's the rule book. It comes with two player maps, so these are obviously it's a two player game, so this will be fun. Let me know if you guys want like a like a playthrough of this game to see. But here's a rule book. So I'll flip through this pretty slowly. Um, I'm not gonna read the whole thing just because there's a lot, and to be honest, I will read them on my own. But we do know here's the thing that we do know though, there are four different types strike uh, card types. There are strike cards, the chamber card, short version ally cards and advantage cards and we had a bit of all of those um they show you a lot about the basic group concepts opening attack turn sequences scoring points and winning the game running out of cards payment powers more other card types game terms and keywords deck building and traits the quick strike systems frequently asked questions and a glossary and i also missed the first couple ones we got introduction game overview and trading card games so Right now, it's kind of, it's really in the style. And feel free to pause the video anytime you want to see, like, this instruction booklet. But it explains a lot more about the trading card games, because I've never, look, I used to collect them, because they were cool, and everyone collected trading cards, like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon cards. I had no idea how to play any of them. Okay, but here's a nice one that shows us exactly what all the things in the cards mean. So we have the card name, um, Intercept don't know what that is force the sidebar cost the trait requirement and the rules text so let's see a card name says the name this is the name of the strike force force represents a, an attack strength of a strike a strikes force has a lightning bolt icon near it. after you send an attack your opponent can only counteract with the strike that has intercepted greater than or equal to the force of your strike intercept represents the defensive strike of the ah, intercept Intercept. Intercept represents the defensive strength of a strike. A strike's intercept has a shield icon near it. You can only play a strike. You can play a strike only if the intercept is greater than or equal to the force of an incoming attack. Sidebar cost. The sidebar cost tells you exactly how much energy you have to play, pay to play to make to strike. The numbers on inside the color box tell you how many of each co each color energy you must play. Rules text. The rules tell you any text will tell you tells you any special rules that you need to follow to play the strike, and there's a trait requirement. Trait requirements are only used when you build your deck. You can play a strike with a trait requirement only if your character's chamber card has a matching symbol. You don't have to worry about the trait requirement when playing the starter ga deck game. Very nice to know because I don't have any other cards. Oh, and now it shows you the chamber cards. That's nice. So it has a signature move, the avatar card. Oh, is it a pullout? Traits and chamber name. When you pick a character to play with, you get to use that character's chamber card. Chamber cards have a front side and a back side. The font has the front has the character's trait symbols on the left hand side of the card. The back has the avatar logo instead. Chamber cards start with the play 
start play with front side face up. Oh, okay. So, like, can I... Interesting, hold on, hold on. Try to boo me. Like, do I just... I don't really... Oh, my goodness! Oh! Oh, you just pulled it out! Oh, my goodness! Ah! Oh, that's so cool! Actually, why did this game do... Like, this was a technically a failure, but dang, why is this... Camper cards are cool, man. Let's pull out Katara's. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's cool. That's actually quite cool to have a card in the card. That's so cool. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Oh, my goodness. Tokyo Pop, man. If anyone's ever read, like, manga, like... That's a, that's a throwback. Okay. So, they say basic setup and gameplay. So, let's get to bending. Here's some instructions. Oh, man. There's just, like, a lot going on. And then we got the mat. What the mat looks like. Very nice. Zones. Defending a zone. Interesting. Like I say, I'm not really... We're not going to have a, a playthrough, though we can have a playthrough one day. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below. But for right now, I'm just going to go through each of the pages in here. So basic combat, using strikes to counteract, turn sequence, clean up, and I should do all of them. Very interesting. Huh. Scoring points and winning the game. Man. I'm kind of, I'm very excited. Oh, there's a running out of cards section, which is always good. To talk about payment powers. Nice. Okay, more than other card types. So there's ally cards. These are the cards that we talked about before. Very nice. And then you have the chamber cards. So I don't know how many chamber cards there were. But I can pro you can probably check on the avatar wiki to it. Each chamber card has access to exclusive cards. Okay. Very, very nice. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Look, there's Suki! Oh, I love her. Okay. Oh, and here's the the traits now. You're also, your deck needs to have 60 cards, which this deck comes with. You come with 60 cards, but like if you have 60 cards, you kind of want to buy more. So that'd be interesting. Maybe I'm thinking about getting more cards for this game. Might as well. You also can't play more than four copies of any single card. That's also nice. I also so chose you here, though, which are different ones. So you have the bull, the fox, the lion for strike. Advantage has the mind, the body, the spirit. Ally has light, shadow, and dark. And then you have your elements, which elementals, which is just water, earth, fire, and air. Oh my goodness, this is fun. This is actually a lot of fun. I'm really excited to play this game. And there's frequently asked questions. Which are also apparently a thing that people frequently ask about the game never coming out before. And there's a glossary. Man, who remembers glossaries? And look, it's available on DVD. Book 1, <laughs> Volume 1. Isn't that crazy? I feel like if you watch any of these from DVD, they were, like, not in the greatest quality because it was 2000 and 4006. Like, it just didn't come out. Like, the quality version was, like, 480 pixels and it just wasn't good. But look, it includes limited edition exclusive ink trading card game. In the... In the... Okay. Okay. And the back of this shows us... Okay, now I see what Tokyo Pops here. Because it's in that manga. And it has, like, the whole after Lost Airbender. It's next epic fantasy is now a thrilling new Cinna manga adventure. I thought Cinna comics were recent, but apparently they've been around forever. And this one says... Only the Avatar could save the world from the ruthless Fire Nation, but when the world needed him most, he disappeared. Until now. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch angles one last time, hopefully, to see if we can get these... These... Open and out. I will open only one, though, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so, let's look over this playing mat. So, as you can see here, it says Advantage Area, it says After Last Air... Bender, Master of Element, title of the game, and then we have some night artwork. We have three energy zones. We got the green energy zone with Aang in it. We have the yellow energy zone with Katara, and then we have the red energy zone with Zuko. Now this 
if you own this, um, be careful when you open it because I did have a little tears on the other side. It's just something that to keep in mind because it's just made out of paper. It's not made out of any other material. Like it's it's very much like a thin paper, so I can see why you might want to have to rebuy this sheet, if, especially if you use it a lot to play it. Um, but moving on, we can go to see what each of these little spaces have. So here we have an ally card, which is Appa. We have a flip here, which is the Air Nomad symbol. And I guess this is where you put your chamber card and you return it to charge it. Then for Katara, we have the ally card, which is Sokka. Um, we have the water bending symbol here. And then we have a deck card in this area. And then for Zuko, for his ally card, we have the Fire Nation soldiers. We have the Fire Nation logo, and then we have the discard pile. So you can tell these are probably where the cards are going to be played when you play the game. And there's another mat that comes in here, as you saw before, that you play with the other person. So if we flip to the back of this, we can see, first of all, it shows you how this originally was folded. So it was folded like this instead of in thirds, which is a little weird. But it does make it look nice when it says here, example of play Aang versus Zuko. And you can see here is like the tier when I was opening it, which is kind of a bummer since... It is brand new, but it shows you exactly like ex how you go step by step. So here it shows you setup, it shows you defenses from Aang and Zuko's defenses, and then it shows you second defenses, Zuko's and Aang's, and then you just keep going and it shows you eventually how you can get to win the game and shows you that Aang ends up winning the game. It's not because Zuko was considered the enemy at that point. So yeah, this is the playing mat. I think... It's pretty cool looking. I personally really enjoy the artwork on here, especially Aang, Katara, and Zuko. It's very season one-esque, very close to promotional material, unlike the cards, which do not look like the characters <laughs> at all. So let's switch it back to our table setup, and we'll make some final remarks. And that's all we have for today. I'm pretty excited to be starting this game and learning exactly how to play. I'm also kind of excited about trying to collect more of these cards. Um, be very interested in trying to find a set of cards that aren't open, maybe for the fun of it, to do kind of an unboxing, but we'll have to wait and see if there are any on sale on any online marketplace. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've ever played this game, you've ever owned this game, or just in general, your over overall thoughts and feelings on it. I think it's quite interesting to play a trading card game about After Lost Airbender. It's definitely something that I wouldn't really expect from the series, but also it's very in line with the times I came out with in the early 2000s where everything was a trading card game and you can collect. The trading cards were really big. I think trading cards have always been big, but they were very big with games. Like you could you could collect cards, but then they made it into a trading card thing. Anyway, very very interesting. We'll have to t put that topic down for another time. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can now follow me on Instagram on at Ember Island Collector. You can see the link down below in the description. And until next time, flamio, hotman.